Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Abushad. In this video, I am going to show you what is horizontal port auto scaling based on CPU usage. Horizontal port auto scaling can be done based on memory usage as well, but that will be in my next video. In this video, I am going to show you only based on CPU usage. Okay, let's see the prerequisites. Prerequisites are metric server as well as we need to configure the request and limits under resources for the deployment. So this is very important. This need to be configured. Otherwise, the horizontal port auto scaling is not gonna is not going to work. Okay, uh, we uh, will have mainly four objects. One is metric server. Other one is deployment and HPA and service. And along with metric server, there will be many uh, objects like cluster role service accounts etc will get generated we will see in our uh, demo how this is uh, created and what are the objects which will get created along with the metric server okay our aws ck is already running if you did not see that video i will put the link in the description for your reference you can go and watch that video to understand how the aws ck is, is created Okay, there is a very important point to be noted. The cooling period is around five minutes between the scaling, scaling up or scaling down. There will be a cooling period of five minutes. Okay, let's go and access the terminal now and let's create the resources and we will see how we can create the horizontal power auto scale. Okay, this is the terminal. Now there is nothing running. Okay, let's create the deployment first. I'm going to use an imperative method. I usually use this method rather than declarative method. Whenever I have to create a YAML, I access the Kubernetes and then run the imperative command to get the template. So this method suits me. So I'm using this method. If you are familiar with the declarative method, you can use that method. All right, I'm going to create the deployment now. CTL create deployment name I will give NJINX minus minus image is NJINX and I say dry run minus o YAML and it gives me a template so this is a template I'm going to redirect this to a file called deployment.yaml I'm going to edit it uh, to include the uh, resource section this is very important. We need to add uh, resources section with the request and limits. So let me add request. Memory. I'll give to 50 MI CPU. 300 mi m sorry and the limits memory 500 m sorry mi cpu s 200 m Okay, I'm going to save this file. I'm going to create it. Give CTL create minus F deployment.yaml. Okay, so it is created. Yeah, it is running now. So now the second uh, thing which we need to do is to create a metric server. Okay, all right, let's create a service now. CTL expose again. I'm using an imperative command. All right, expose deployment and JNX minus minus port equal to 80. 80 is the port. Port 80 is where NJNX service will be running. Minus minus dry run minus so YAML. <coughs> Okay, so I will redirect this to 
HPA service dot yaml kubectl create minus f HPA service dot yaml kubectl describe svc jnx okay then point is here so it is working now what we need to do is we need to create a original pod auto scaler kubectl auto scale deployment in jnx and we should say how many minimum pod minimum is one maximum is five and cpu percentage is 10 let's give the cpu percentage 10 minus minus dry run minus so yaml again the same method i'm using the imperative method i'm using i'm just running this to see if everything is if the command which i have written here is working fine or not before uh, redirecting it to a file all right so it seems all right nginx name is nginx okay let me give a name here me say minus minus name equal to HPA okay so the name of the original board auto scaler is HPA now okay I'm happy with this let me direct to HPA dot yaml kubectl create as a HPA dot yaml okay kubectl get all should show everything now okay everything is working i can see it is unknown okay let's see kubectl describe HPA <coughs> okay it says fail to get resource matrix so that means our metric server is not installed okay let's do an installation of metric server and it should uh, change the unknown uh, to some percentage at least the zero percentage it should show okay uh, i'm going to show you uh, a documentation this is from the aws itself i will share the link here uh, it describes what to do what are the prerequisites etc okay let's see the installing the kubernetes matrix server i'm going to follow the same thing here i'm going to get this one latest download for the metric server i'm going to create the metric server okay so these are the resources which uh, gets created and these are in the cube system uh, namespace kubectl get all minus n cube system cube system okay so here you can see the metric server is running this is a deployment and it is it is getting ready okay so it is running now okay so we should now see some percentage in the HPA yeah see from the unknown it is now zero percentage let's let's see describe HPA yeah now it's become true valid metric found so let's see kubectl top nodes all right it is showing the metrics now that means it is working fine yeah okay so it is reporting the metrics properly now what we need to do we need to check if our setup is working fine or not for that I am going to refer the documentation again here in our first page we can see there is okay not this one this we have already done okay how to create a load so it is basically asking us to create a 
load generator with a image busy box okay uh, and to execute this command to generate the load okay so let's copy this and paste it here and i have tested this that generator option will not work in the newer kubernetes so we should run till slash bin slash sh and then we will copy paste this command and run it but uh, it's not apache uh, php apache it's nginx for us okay. okay so it is running now we are going to connect uh, to another session from this terminal and let's uh, watch the percentage and let's see how the hpa or the horizontal power auto scaling is working okay so now it is 31 percentage let's watch let's add watch command let's see yeah it started the auto scaling the auto scaling is started working now it is creating the ports now our maximum is 5 it reached maximum because the load in our port is above 100 percentage and now it is creating the nginx ports because the cpu load you can see from here it is getting increased and accordingly it is creating the ports okay now let's just kill this process yeah the process is killed now and let's wait for the ports to come back to one as I mentioned in the starting of the video, it will take some time for the ports to go back, scale down. That is the cooling period required. Okay, let's wait now for the ports to go back to uh, replica one. Now you can see the load is zero percentage. It will take around uh, five minutes for the scale down process to start working. Okay, I will pause this video and we'll show you once the ports started uh, terminating okay uh, one point i want to add here if you're looking for uh, scaling auto scaling for uh, only for uh, cpu based load then uh, you have to mention uh, memory request and limits that is ignorable you can remove it from the configuration so here i have added both of them so to show you it can be added in the configuration this is required for our next video where I will be showing you uh, how to create auto scaling for memory based load. Okay, let's go back and check kubectl. Okay, it is still uh, in running state. Let's wait for some time. Okay, so after the cooling period, it started terminating the resources as you can see from here. Okay, now the horizontal pod auto scaler reduced the number of uh, replicas to one, which is the desired state as per the configuration. So that's working, guys. So we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.